Hi everybody! Welcome to session five of the social distancing warm-up. I hope everyone had a, a reasonably peaceful weekend. I know these are really, really tough times, but uh, we're going to pull through this by relying on each other, taking care of family and friends, and probably, well I know for a fact, being incredibly grateful for all of our blessings. Uh, if you have an opportunity to call a loved one uh, the old-fashioned way, just talking on the phone or FaceTime or on Zoom, I know that they would really appreciate it. Also, checking up on any uh, friends, any older folks as well, would really, I know they would really appreciate that. A lot of older folks are feeling pretty isolated these days. Um, I received a, a few inquiries about uh, uh, online lessons uh, and if you're interested in something like that, I do have a few slots available. You can go ahead and uh, send me a, a message on uh, Facebook Messenger and we can work something out. I do have a few slots available, so just keep that in mind. But let's move on though for now. We're going to be starting with singing and buzzing. So great to see everybody today. We're going to start singing a concert B-flat, trumpets, your C, French horns, your F, and so on. So uh, this, these uh, exercises are for all instruments and vocalists too. But I will be uh, talking uh, trombone specifics from time to time just because I'm a trombone player. Here we go. sessions as fun as possible, as enjoyable as possible. Uh, so today uh, I have some unusual grooves for us to try. <laughs> and I did upload them to Google Drive and there's a link on this post. So afterwards go ahead and click the link and fiddle around with it. It might take you a few tries but if you open it right up into iReal Pro on your on your smartphone it should work. It should work. Uh, if, if it doesn't send me a message and I'll I'll do my best to send it to you as an email attachment. Okay, here we go. We're going to do the same thing, but singing and then playing. Starting on a concert B-flight, going down by half steps. <laughs> Or 
two F attachments. Woo -hoo -hoo. Um, well, in these exercises, I still want you to go all the way out to seventh position when you can, because we have to be able to be uh, comfortable with the outer positions. Okay? We don't want to limit ourselves to the, the first four positions and then relying on the triggers all the time. We need options. All right, we are moving on. We are moving on. The Remington Bossa Nova. Uh, ta -da. Ta -da. And huge thanks to Billy Bargetzi, uh, who suggested that uh, I add in two measures at the end of each sequence after seventh position to uh, get set for the new set of partials that go down chromatically. Okay? Thank you, Billy. And today I'm going to take a look at what we need here. Let's see. Let's start on a concert B flat, middle concert B flat. Ta okay, and let's make the uh, transition smooth. These are going to be lip slurs. We're only going to articulate the first sequence. Ta See what happened to my jaw when I was going down? Uh, the jaw dropped as I went to each lower partial. 
And we want to make that transition as smooth as possible. Here we go. Just twice. Here we go. We want to make it as smooth as possible. Open F, uh, then one and three, 
okay? And uh, for that uh, B flat, which is going to be your, uh, con your, your C, your C, um, it's going to be open, of course. Uh, then you're going to go to two and three, but you're going to need to make some adjustments with the tuning, tuning slots, okay? Da, da, but you want to even those out and make them all sound as much the same as you possibly can, okay? Uh, and please click this again, uh, the, the link that I have in here for the Google Drive, uh, and all of these should open right up into the iReal Pro app with the preloaded grooves. All right, here we go with the breath control boogie. <laughs> I'm just having a ball uh, preparing this for, for y'all because, uh, again, this is, we are in a very unusual situation. So what this is going to be doing, this is a variation of a Remington exercise, um, but we're going to be doing different sections and elongating uh, an F concert scale, concert F scale. Uh, we'll first go from the tonic to the second degree of the scale, and then back down. Then tonic, second degree, third degree, back down. But with each, every time you do that, we're going to take a, a big breath, like this. Da, 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 da. pattern okay so we're going to be able we're going to need to focus on taking deep relaxed breaths okay and we also need to budget we're learning all about budgeting and finances uh, in these unusual times but we can also do the same thing with our air so when we get to the end we're, we're going to go all the way up and down the F major scale we don't want to necessarily play forte or fortissimo we can bring it down a little bit to make sure that the, the tone quality, the timbre stays the same all the way up and all the way down, and then we can still get it in in one breath. And let me guarantee you something. You have more air left in you than you think you do. But don't force the air out. Let the air come out. Here we go with the breath control boogie. Find 
where the uh, roof of our mouth and the top of our teeth meet. And let's touch it with just the tip of our tongue. Ta, 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 ta. Now let's find it with the da. And let's have a continuous airflow, legato. Ta da 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 For me, I'm thinking the same spot, that same ridge line up there, but just a different articulation. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. For this, we're going to be going like, uh, we're going to, let's do the following. Etc. And again, trombones, use those outer positions as much as you can. Don't rely on those valves, okay? Here we go. So concert B flat, 
to a concert E flat to a concert F to a concert B flat on top. Okay? Uh, trumpets, French horns, alto saxes, you know your transpositions hopefully, so uh, let's do this in real time. Tonic, fourth, fifth, upper octave tonic. Here we go. Okay, um, I sent out a, an announcement yesterday using one of the classic Emory Remington warm-ups. It's one of my favorites. 
some different tempos together and different grooves uh, just to kind of spice things up. This first one, <laughs> it's, it's a moderate tempo, but again, if you can't get the whole thing right now, just get the first maybe uh, the, the first measure or two, the first few intervals. But here's the, here's the key on something like this. You're going to want to stay completely relaxed. And we're going to do it in two faster tempos after this. But the faster we go, I want us to become more and more relaxed, more and more relaxed. So you almost get to the point where you care by not caring. I know that sounds weird, but think about it. Care by not caring. We're going to start in first position. And this is a New Orleans groove.
to the last note, try and lock in on pitch with the tonic that you're hearing in the track. This is going to be fast, guys. But the key here is just constant relaxation. Again, we care by not caring. And again, I could be I could be asleep within, I don't know, forty seconds. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit before we uh, adjourn about pentatonic scales. Everyone say pentatonic. Ooh. But they're actually uh, very simple to learn. There are only five notes in a pentatonic scale. Hence the name pentatonic, five different pitches. But I also added the tonic on top. Uh, so get ready to take a screenshot. Here we go. We're starting on a C pentatonic, C major pentatonic. Let's all take a screenshot on the count of three. One, two, three, snap it. Good, good, good. C, D, E, G, A, C. Now, this is one of the oldest scales ever. It goes back thousands of years. Uh, we're missing the four. We're also missing the seven. But it also gives a really open sound. And you can use this in all sorts of situations. On major scales, uh, the dominant chords, it's really cool. Uh, and tomorrow, we will also talk about minor pentatonics. But today, we're going to stick with major pentatonics. Okay? We're going to go up by half steps. And... Uh, Let's see what the, what the groove is first before we get started. Okay, that gives me an indication. We're gonna we're gonna start this off by uh, by sustained notes. Okay, here we go. Follow me. We're starting on a uh, concert. C, a concert C pentatonic scale.
were established. All right, now we're going to do some call and response. Last week we did some call and response uh, improv uh, trading fours on major scales. Now we're going to do it on major pentatonics. I'm going to do my best just to set up a lick for you to, to try and copy or to emulate the style, even if you don't play all the notes that I just played. Uh, you can try and find the style, but I'm going to try and do my best to stick within the major pentatonic scale of each key center. Okay? You ready? I thought so. A couple of things I better empty my spit. Ew. And then drink some, drink some more water here. Here we go. Major pentatonic call and response. half note, for each half step sequence, we're going to become more and more relaxed. We've done a lot of playing today on this warm up, but I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. And thanks again to band directors, students,
students and parents around the world for, uh, for your support and for tuning in and getting the word out. And thanks for sharing all this too. Thank you for sharing all this. We're building a sense of uh, warm-up community together.